Hi, my name is Scott Lamb, Technical Sales Manager for Clippard Instrument Laboratory. Today's tech tip is utilizing Clippard's MAR Miniature Air Regulator, our latest and greatest version with the 8th inch MPT outlet. And what I've done is created an air spring and a double acting air cylinder. So what I have is a constant supply going to the MAR1 and the outlet I currently have set at about 20 PSI. The 20 PSI is giving me pressure against the rod side so that the cylinder stays retracted um, with a constant air supply. On the back end of the cylinder, I have a higher than 20 PSI pressure connected through a three-way valve, and this gives me the control over a double-acting air cylinder. Benefits to an air spring would be adjustable spring rate. You can increase or decrease the air pressure against the piston, which would increase or decrease the force against the rod. Another benefit would be a consistent spring force across the stroke. A spring-loaded cylinder at rest has a much lower spring rate than when it's advanced and the spring is compressed. The benefit to an air spring is the force is consistent because you have the pressure going into the area of the piston keeping the force consistent. Shorter overall length is another benefit to an air spring. For example, a 10-inch stroke cylinder would have many more springs involved, whereas a double-acting air spring cylinder would be much shorter.